Have you heard of Geisha Naturals? Try their traditional black soap that is made for African skin out of African plants. This episode of the NTV Star Project is proudly brought to you by Geisha Naturals. That was the message posted on designer Virgil Abloh's Instagram last Sunday. Many fashion lovers and supporters came out to post their messages of condolence for the outstanding designer. But first, who was Virgil Abloh? A designer and a close friend to Kanye West. Try this language in the back. Virgil Abloh. Everything he does gets better and better. One of the most influential powerhouses in fashion and art, passing away over the weekend as he privately battled a rare form of cancer. Abloh was a widely celebrated figure in the cultural world as the first black creative artistic director in the 167-year history at Louis Vuitton. His Instagram reading, he chose to endure his battle privately, undergoing numerous challenging treatments, all while helming several significant institutions that span fashion, art, and culture. The post also revealing he was first diagnosed in 2019 with cardiac angiosarcoma, a rare cancer that develops in the heart. Abloh was also known for moving the needle in high fashion by celebrating black excellence with his designs on the runway. An indisputable cultural force, he became a dynamic renaissance man whose work spanned from DJing to influencing a new generation of creators. To call him a fashion icon doesn't really do him justice. I, I see him more as a cultural icon. Tonight on the NTV Style Project, we do not only pay tribute to a fashion icon, but an icon of black culture. And to do that with me is my co-host, Rama Shafiq Kizito and the beautiful Nicole Estela. Welcome to the set. Always happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Such a pleasure to be here as well. Okay. Yes. So guys, tonight we are discussing and talking about the life, the iconic life of the late Virgil Abloh, yeah. recently just passed peace. on from a rare cancer. Yeah. Cancer of the heart was my first time to hear about that. He was at the peak of his career, I must say. I can't imagine the number of projects that are uh, going with him. Okay, yeah. before we go any further, let's just take a moment of silence to pray for his beloved soul. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Now, I actually did a little survey before the show. Um, I spoke to my cousins, I spoke to some people I know in the industry, and I was asking them, do you know who Virgil Abloh was? Many of them didn't know who he was. Just only one person, he's like mm -hmm. my stylist, Joel, shout out to you. Right. Who was Virgil Abloh? Well, uh, what normally happens for the big brands that we see out there is we only see the name of the brand, yeah. but we don't really get to the details of who which people behind? are actually behind yeah. this. Uh, Virgil Abloh yeah, is an American, is a black American uh, with parents from uh, Ghana, wow. and he was very, very proud to uh, talk about that. That's so, excellent. Uh, Virgil Abloh is, uh, we call them creative directors in the fashion language, and uh, these are people that actually come down from paperwork to the runway. He actually did not study fashion at any one point. He studied uh, engineering, engineering yeah. and then he mastered. He got a master's in architecture. And then when he got into fashion at a time when he started doing his internship at uh, LVMH at, at Fendi, and that's why he met Kanye. And then his fashion journey started from there. And then he never turned back. He was, he's, he's, been, he's been working with Kanye for quite a long time. I think since the early 2000s. He's been a very, very, very... Um, influential person in the fashion industry he changed the whole game Virgil Abloh is the man behind making streetwear luxury yes, wear yes. he literally turned the way people look at street fashion now when I talk about street fashion street fashion is a category of fashion that has been more categorized with black people he literally took that kind of fashion onto to the high end to the, the high, high end market. so imagine yeah. having the fashion that you see you know yeah. downtown yeah, you in know the ghettos, like the in the corner. ghettos in yeah. america somewhere in paris he was such a revolutionary and talking about him being a revolutionary i think he was the very first person to take the 
the job of being creative director at uh, Louis Vuitton. Wow, so amazing! That was, yeah, that, and he's the black, the very first black the first man. Black person, yeah, yes. Yeah, so that's that when I actually got thing. to know about uh, Virgil Abloh when he was um, introduced as the creative director of Louis V, and I was like, what? This is a black person. Rama, you mentioned a brand that he was. You know, nurturing a brand that he owned back then that I didn't know about. Tell us about about well, that. Even when he was still in school, he used to uh, make printed T-shirts for his friends and himself. But what really stood out is a brand called uh, Pyrex yeah, Vision. Yeah. Pyrex, Pyrex Vision. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was I think 2012. I've yeah. never heard of that. I know. <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> so it, 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 it's a project that he says was to be um, just merchandising for his 10-minute uh, uh, video like mm -hmm. a short film about uh, black excellence, about um, um, schools, uh, black kids in school, uh, and his uh, collaboration and love for uh, Michael Jordan, even before he came to yeah. Nike. That is the reason why uh, all the Pyrex uh, merchandise has number 23, because that is why Michael, that is the number that Michael yeah, Jordan used to wear yeah. in his prime. Pyrex of course, they had the X's, yeah. the lines. Mm -hmm. You could yes. easily tell you that it is actually tell. Virgil Abloh. Mm -hmm. And of course, the most famous one now, we yeah. all know it, <laughs> uh, Off-White. Off -white. Tell us about Off-White. Now, many Ugandans have actually won Off-White. Virgil Abloh is the CEO, the brains behind the creative, the the father <laughs> of 2014 Off actually Yo, or it's, like it's such a young brand right yeah it's really young but brand. then it really really picked up in 2018 i'm sure that is, that was like his peak year that was a year that he made a lot of money i remember seeing off-white everywhere in china everything so many like, jokes in uganda <laughs> exactly <laughs> most so people are wearing off-white here exactly. our so music with all artists. the flying you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. now what happened is his previous project was launching in new york um, in france but for Off-White, he actually launched in the, what is arguably the fashion city in the world, yeah. Milan. We know Milan is the uh, fashion capital, I would like to say. I would yeah. like, <laughs> want yeah. to be far from yeah. other people no, that I think, say maybe I think New you're York. right because mm. I have been to Milan and I went to a street called Vie Monte Napoleon. Pardon? Uh, I went. <laughs> yes, I had a chance. I had a chance to fly to Milan, uh -huh. and I went to one of the most expensive streets in the whole entire world. The street is called Via Monte Napoleon. Now that street has some of the all, all the biggest brands. All the big brands. And you know, most of these brands they manufacture in Milan. Mm. So it's like the fashion capital. And if you actually want to get luxury, you know, brands luxury goods that is a place for you to go so go on well uh, still speaking about off-white yeah and um, uh, Virgil Abloh as a person in 2017 I think it, it really pushed off-white his collaboration with the um, Nike yes. uh, the project was called the 10 so he was tasked to um, redesign 10 classic shoes from Nike and what happened is they sold out the first day they were launched no. I'm talking about that. He's actually worked. Um, he's he's cre he's been creative director for the Yeezys as well. He's been the godfather of street fashion. To be honest, he's been the brains behind so many street fashion things that we've been seeing. Of course, we've been seeing the names that are like on top or like out there, like Kanye West, and we're like, oh, Kanye West has re revolutionized uh, street fashion. But really, the brains behind guys, you know, did Virgil you come to Uganda with Kanye and Kim? I don't I, think so. We need to look for those pictures. We need to look through those pictures. Because there is a possibility. So close, yeah. Because possibility. when Kanye came to Uganda, his purpose of coming to Uganda was to pick inspiration. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Baju Ablo, the man we're talking about tonight, worked with so, so many celebrities. Yes. Some of your favorite musicians or favorite models. Um, one person that you remember that he worked with closely. Oh, let me start with you, Rama. You have someone on the top of your head. <laughs> of course, I, I have about two or three. Okay. But of course, Kanye West comes uh, number one yes. on that list. Omlala. Uh, his uh, album of Glow in the Dark. Okay, tell us project, about that. Tell us about uh, that. It was him that did all the merchandising. And later on, the, uh, the following year, he went on to merchandise and be a uh, set director for um, the collaboration that Jay-Z had with Kanye. Yes. yes. Watch the phone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that was he an did insane that. album. Exactly. Yeah. The album, he worked so well as a creative director and an art like director. He a Grammy for that. He, yeah. was, he, nominated he, for he was nominated for a Grammy. He was nominated for a Grammy. Yeah. That. yeah. That is how amazing he was. Yes. He did also um, design so many album covers. And he was a covers. DJ. A DJ at that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was mm. mad talented. You said he worked with Asa Proki as well. Yeah, tell us about that. Asa Proki, he's worked uh, with Rihanna way back before of fight event. Yeah, the Pyrex. Wait, did Virgil Abloh was the creative director of? 
fashion killer Asa Proki. Rihanna was the video vixen. When I saw Fashion Killer by Asa Proki, and it was about Rihanna, the fashion god, talking about you know fashion and showing us all these different clothes, I was like, this is really creative. That is how close they were with Asa Proki. Yeah. I loved that video. Yeah, that, that I loved that video. It was amazing. <laughs> You're now getting the good memories. <laughs> 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 He designed um, Hailey Bieber's wedding dress, and when you look at you know that dress, it was such a perfect silhouette on her body. What really intrigued me was the fact that on the veil, on the trail, the words that were written on "until death do us part." Mm -hmm. For me, I felt like I had never seen that on any yeah. wedding dress, and only to find out Virgil was the creative mind behind it. I was like, yeah, it had he, to be Virgil. There's so much about Ablo. No wonder all the, the the creative people, all the big brands in the fashion industry, are saying he didn't change fashion he changed culture he featured on some of the world's biggest runway shows uh, the runway that really stood out for me that still has um, fresh memories in my head is his debut collection for Louis Vuitton as the new creative director in 2018 that was the spring summer 2019 if you look at the pieces very well it is a transition of white black gray to color now yeah. because he wanted to revolutionize uh, street fashion to high fashion and from that time till today brands are actually adopting more street fashion and bringing it to a high fashion and having pieces that actually work together and it is not surprising that um, if uh, my camera person can zoom in a little bit have a little bit of uh, the street style and then the high fashion yeah so <laughs> I actually, I do remember that day. Yeah. That day um, was when us who didn't know who uh, Virgil Abloh got to reading about him. Mm -hmm. He was all over every fashion blog. True. I think the picture that trended the most was when Kanye gave him a hug. You he could saw see, himself there. You yeah. could see the love. Lots of emotions. You know when you work with someone and they literally make you so proud. You feel like, oh my God, I didn't waste my time with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, the interview that Virgil um, had after, he actually said he saw not just him, but he saw black culture on the runway. Yeah. Um, for me, it was uh, this one in Feb, the summer winter men's collection. The um, it was sh it was in twenty sorry twenty twenty one in February. It, I think it is the most recent that he's done yeah. Yeah. before he passed on. We actually talked about that fashion show exactly. here on the Star Project just two weeks back. What a coincidence! And we mentioned that we love the fact that he played with african yeah. prince yes. he played with some tribal prince there was a little bit of amkara here and there that the show was very you know forward some um street fashion you know pieces were thrown in there and some elegant luxury sort of pieces were a part of the show so for me i really love the way he played together with these two different genres and it really works yes. i loved it now on my end the fashion show that really stood out for me that I feel was super, super, super amazing um, was the Paris Men Fashion Show that um, he, he, he created amazing pieces. And when you look at some of the pieces that were a part of this fashion show, you will see some khakis in there in browns, in grays. It was a person that loves to play with, you know, toned down colors. Now, this fashion show was just not any fashion show. It was a show that celebrated Michael Jackson. I totally fell in love with that collection. What really stands out for me is the fact that Virgil Abloh, even before he was the Virgil Abloh that we know of today, he was an artist and he used to make his sketches, he used to draw his sketches from uh, back then he was, when he was school. And he actually used to send these pieces to Nike and they were always rejected for quite some time. It's a big lesson to every creative person. Uh, go on with your passion. Provided you're doing the right thing, go on. Passion is everything. He knew he was talented. He knew what he was capable of. He knew he would change the game. He took something from the ghetto or where he grew up from and took it onto mainstream fashion. That is Paris Milan. He took it where it would have never ever sprouted. Yeah. He didn't forget where he came from. Now, with that said, may his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. Amen.